Thanks, right, everyone. We'll get started today with Tyler Bertuzzi. Please let us know if you'd like to ask a question. Answer, Ken. Yeah, Tyler, just uh, these last 10 days, uh, what was it like for you? Did you uh, <clears throat> experiencing symptoms or how was that experience? Uh, not really, no. Just stuffy. Um, little headache, that was it. And uh, one practice and then you'd be in tomorrow. Just uh, what's the biggest challenge there after? I know 10 days probably isn't that long off the ice, or is it? And what, what's the biggest challenge coming back? Yeah, I skated Saturday, uh, I skated Sunday, and uh, I practiced today, and I'll probably get a morning skate in tomorrow. So four skates, um, probably going to be a little bit tough, obviously, getting back into it, but um, you got to start somewhere. And I know every game is tough to miss, but you're still going to miss six more games later this season in Canada. I mean, just how much more difficult would that be if the team's in a, in a tight playoff race? Uh, yeah, I guess obviously it sucks missing games, um, but it is what it is. Yeah, and I was assuming no reconsidering. Uh, Natural immunity now. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Tyler. Max Bolden. Uh, what were you able to do, like fitness wise, I guess, or, or were you able to do anything? Like, in time? Yeah, actually, I 10 days, I probably got three or four workouts in. Um, there's a few days where I was kind of stuffy and I didn't really want to do any cardio. So, um, pretty much walk every day with my dog to the park and, um, I try to stay as active as I, as I possibly could, you know? Um, but I think these, you know, I skate, like I said, I skated Saturday, Sunday, today and morning skate tomorrow. So hopefully, um, that gets me into the best shape that I can to, you know, at least try and come back and, and, uh, get back in shape. Was it the first time you did it? Like Kind of know what to expect or was it kind of like, wait? yeah no that was the first time i had it yeah so i mean did you feel good now i assume i mean i know you said it was a lot of just kind of stuff it's still yeah fine. yeah no i feel fine now it's still a little bit stuffy but um no i feel good now what did you think i assume you were able to watch the games like what did you make of the games that, and the way the team played without you yeah i watched them all um there was a few that were really good and some that were you know not so good and um obviously go over that in video and, and try and get better with that and, um, you know, practice today and video today. And, um, you know, we'll be back to Tuesday. Just got to put it behind it. Hi, Tyler. You had a lot of points going early in the season were very effective. What do you do? What do you need to do to get back to that? Um, just keep it simple, I guess. Try and get points. Okay. Do you feel like you need to be gritty around the net or kind of how, how would you assess where your play was at when you went into the protocol? Uh, yeah, maybe go to the net a little bit more. Okay. Thanks. Ted Colton. Hey, Todd, from what you saw the games last week, I mean, what do you guys need to do to turn it around? I think just get back to, you know, on that five game winning streak, uh, simple, um, you know, hard, hard at, at their net and, and, you know, the, the turnovers and, and D zones, the biggest thing, you know, if we're good defensively, we have a, you know, really good chance at winning the hockey game. If we can clean up in the D zone, then, um, you know, that's going to lead to more offense and, and more wins. From what you noticed today, I mean, is the confidence still there or, I mean, it seemed like last, you know, a week ago when you guys were winning five in a row, you know, everything was going good. It was good. I mean, did you, did you notice anything different today or? I mean, the guy's still feeling good about things or what? Yeah, no, you just got to put it behind you. You know, every every team in the league is going to you know, go through stretches, whether it's good or bad. And you just got to you got to learn to put it behind you and just take the take the positives from from everything and, and move on and try and get better. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Be back shortly with Coach Blashell.